Hello. Uh, hello and welcome to this tutorial from libreprogramming.org. I am Shiv Shankar Dayal and I welcome you to this video. Recorded at 7.20 pm, I am just also tuning microphone volume to make it a bit louder. Okay. <coughs> so, uh, in my previous uh, video, I talked about type def, uh, how to do a type def for structures, and in this video, we will talk about alignment of structures. I am still holding the real introduction of structures, I am delaying it so that we can study more about some important concepts which people typically miss. Okay, so right now I am working on a 32 bit system. Let's see that. So you see, this is i686 Linux. Okay. So I have a structure which contains a correct an integer so 1 plus 4 is 5 bytes and then I have got 5 6 7 8 and 4 12 and then I have 1 and plus 4 6 so 5 12 6 and again 6 right so this should be 5 this should be 12 and this should be 6 and this should be 12 and then I am printing the size of those structures really I don't need to do this instead I can simply give the type name okay now we will compile this and we run this oops didn't work out the way I expected okay this is 8, this is 16, this is 8, this is 12. Now why this happened? Why our uh, computation of size didn't work? The answer lies here. There is something called alignment. It's a requirement that objects of a particular type be located on storage boundaries with addresses that are particular multiple of a byte address. Now what does this mean? Is let us say this character is somewhere in memory now character requires one byte so that particular address will be divisible by one now what happens is this integer can be placed anywhere but the address must be divisible by four now because of this the compiler optimizes and adds three to this as a whole it's a padding between this char and this int so you have got 8 bytes for this and similarly here what happened was this was 4 plus 4 8 okay hang on let me do the count again this was 16 right so 4 and 4 8 and then these three filled in 4 so 12 and then 16 and for this what happened these two came in 4 bytes and here 4 again 8 but for this again this is 4 and plus 4 and plus 4 12 this is what happened because of the alignment requirement and this is also known as sometimes padding now the question is how much is padding now the padding also depends on your uh, what you call word size for example um, let me make one more type def C double D. So how much we should see? We should see 12, right? And then uh, we should be able to see that. We should see 12, right? We should see 16 rather, because 8 for this and 8 for this. So we should see 16. But let's see how much we see. We sh will see, I guess, um, how much we'll see 12 not 16 even though double is 8 okay so this is 12 not 16 so the padding at most is for up to 3 bytes that is it will try to make it a multiple of 4 but if you put in another carrier then again it will increase by 4 Oops. 
it increased by 4. Since it's a 32 bit system, it is trying to align for 4 bytes because 32 bit uh, memory when it pulls in your data bus, so that is what it is trying to pad for. But padding is different than your alignment. Alignment is this. So a double will go only when the address is multiple of 8, not of 4. So how to declare a, a structure is keep the similar sizes together. For example, char is 1 byte. So keep all the characters together. Unsigned or signed does not matter. So for example, short integers. So keep all the short integers together. Int integers, 4 byte integers I am talking about. So keep all the short um, 4 byte integers together. So if you keep them together, the packing will be more. And if you de declare in a sparse fashion, a one char, one integer, one double, and then again a character, then there will be lots of holes in that structure. And you will be wasting precious memory. This is especially true when you are programming for embedded system, where you have very little RAM with you. And you have to do with that little RAM. So it is so very important. For that matter, in embedded system, you even use bit fields to pack your elements. We will talk about bit fields at the end when we are finished with unions and structures. So for now, I will end this here. And I think after dealing with type def and this alignment video, we are ready to explore more about structures. Thanks for watching the video and if you have liked this video then please hit the like button and also subscribe if you want to get notified uh, of new uploads and if you dislike this video then you can hit the dislike as well. And always remember that programming is the only way to get uh, more knowledge and become better programmer. So keep programming and above all try to enjoy it, try to find out reasons why you are learning programming because if you don't like it you will not succeed so if you don't like it then you should try to find out reasons to like it thanks keep coding bye